The so-called UK strain of the coronavirus first discovered in Britain has firmly planted itself across the Atlantic. B117 is its official name, but whatever you call it, it's now thought to be the dominant strain in Iowa and the U.S. This is why doctors are concerned. It is um, more transmissible um, and um, it also seems to carry a higher risk of mortality. The Iowa Department of Public Health reported the presence of the UK strain at a long-term care facility Monday with some cases among those already vaccinated. I asked Unity Point infectious disease specialist Dr. Rosanna Rosa about vaccine effectiveness yeah. against it. So the vaccines that we currently have do um, seem to be very effective against um, against this variant. A less common variant, B351, also known as the South African strain, is also on health officials' radars. A small Israeli study found the Pfizer vaccine may be less effective against it. On Monday, Dr. Anthony Fauci called new strains a wild card, noting the South African strain lowered Johnson & Johnson's effectiveness to 64%. To 64%. But importantly... There were essentially no deaths or hospitalizations in the individuals who were vaccinated. Dr. Rosas says viruses adapt and change and new variants are possible, but they can't evolve without a host. So getting vaccinated and continuing to mask up and social distance will prevent even more dangerous strains from popping up. We're getting very, very close, but we're not out of it just yet. Now, Dr. Rosa says scientists continue to learn more and more about these new strains and whether the vaccines are just as effective against them. She says it may be down the road we may need some booster shots in order to uh, get our immunity up against some of these new variants. Scientists are still working to determine that.